Everybody has a story and I have a story. And I didn't think that I would be in this situation right now in my life, but I'm very thankful and grateful. I have been in Central Ohio all my life. I was born and raised. I grew up in foster care in Franklin County Children's Services. I grew up in the east side, north side, west side. I was a young mother. I got a lot of public assistance and stuff like that. Truth be told, never wanted to own a home. <laughs> Because I am, I'm a single woman. I just thought, you know, you should be married and have a husband. I'm a Betty Crocker. I'm not a maintenance man. I didn't want to be responsible for the furnace or the hot water tank or plumbing, electricity, none of that. Never really thought about it until life changed and the cost of living has dramatically changed. Rent is really, really high. One bedrooms, two bedrooms. I was currently living in a two bedroom and I was paying $2,200 a month. And I was just like, wow, you know, looking at my bills. I've been here for two years. Look how much money that I have given them. You know, I wasn't in the position to purchase a home because you have to save up and, you know, credit and stuff like that. You know, I'm paying that much, but I'm used to paying rent and paying my bills, so. I just said, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Every year when you're a renter, they raise your rent. And they are raising it again. And I just said, if I sign another lease, well, how much would I give you guys? And it was like $38,000 for the whole year. And I said, I don't see that in my future. So I start investigating on home ownership. Why I think it's important to have growing ownership funds in Columbus, Ohio is because everybody needs help. Everybody's not in a situation where they can save. Sometimes people are in the situations where they get paid just enough to pay their bills. They don't have money to save a couple hundred dollars out of this check or whatever. The cost of living has gone up. Food is higher. Gas, utilities, rent. It's just some people are living paycheck to paycheck. And it is very difficult to save when you don't have money to save. The Mod Hill Program Fund helped me close on my home. I had to bring nothing to my closing. By not having to bring anything to the closing, I was able to pay my movers to move me into my home. So it, it made the move comfortable for me not to be owing anybody and having to borrow any money. I didn't have to do any of that. I was just able to come home. And I, I love saying that it's mine. And I have three children, two are grown, one going to college. That's another reason why I was interested in purchasing a home so I can help my daughter while she's in college. Your rent not going up no more and everything, the numbers are still the same. I'll be able to help her. What does equity mean to me? It means ownership to me because I have a legacy that I'm leaving behind. I have driven with my son and I said, Everybody doesn't get this chance in life to own a home. So I share with him, don't you ever sell this house. Keep it in the family. So just leaving a legacy, leaving that behind for my children because I am a mother and I'm glad that I can leave that for my children. I hope that long from now when I'm gone, that they can come home and then tell my story about how my mom came up and how she got it out the mud and stuck to her guns and this is where we're at. It's just, it's a story to be told.